Okay. I'm back. So now I'm going to teach you how to do a spider and a dragonfly. So we'll start off with on this side with the spider using the same little spongy dauber thing. Same red paint, same black paint. Um, for the details, we're going to use gold this time. And what else? The black. Um, the round brush for the black and then another round brush for color for the red and that and then also for this one you don't have to use this but this is just something i found that was kind of cool i'm going to be using this one right here it's artist loft and it's like a little stencil thing so i'm just going to use this little shape here the bigger one let's spray this a little more red on there not too much because there's still a lot on there and then I'm just gonna put this right here let's see maybe right there okay so now there's a nice little hexagon shape there and then I'm just gonna this actually you know what let me just do everything red first so we'll just go ahead and use the round brush for the red make some legs going up And then the ones on the bottom, you want to make sure they're pointing down. And I'm basically, I'm just like push and flick to make those. All right, so now I'm going to go over everything with the black. So for this right here, actually, I just, I'm going to make like kind of a little thing around there. And then just make like a little cross in the middle of it. Um, and then an X over that. Just to kind of, I don't know, give it a little design. And then push and flick again for the black part of the legs. And then just go ahead and shake this up, put in some gold details. I 
basically just did that over the black lines just to kind of give it a little extra color in there. And that's it. There's your spider. All right, to do the dragonfly, I'm using a different brush. I'm using this, I don't even know what they're called, but it's kind of round. It's a makeup brush. All right, so the colors I'm using for the wings for the dragonfly are um, pink and turquoise. I use a lot of pink, so there's not much left in my snazzy pink, but on one side of the brush, I'm going to do pink. On the other side, I'm going to do blue. So just load up the pink. And then load up the blue on the other side. And then just kind of, let's see. Do one wing. Make sure that the wings are close together, otherwise it's going to look like a butterfly. And this is really hard to see here. All right, and then just kind of go back over it real fast with some of the pink. And that's just to kind of, that gives it like a nice little wingy look, I think. Um, now I'm going to go, actually I'm not using this yet. We're going to go through with the round brush for the colors. And... Just do pink. And then do the little body in there. Make a little head, make the little bottom part, or the in-between part, I should say. And then the bottom part, I just push and flick on that. Okay, then I'm just going to go ahead and use the details and give it some eyes. There. I let it dry a little bit so that I can put the black in there and it won't mix and turn gray. Then I'm going to use a really skinny brush again with some black. Go ahead and outline. Okay, and then outline the body. And then for the body, give it some little sections. Again, I just push and flick. on the wings, um, kind of similar to what we did on the bumblebee. Just kind of do like that. Do it on each wing.
and it does not have to be perfect at all. In fact, it probably will look less good if you try to make it look perfect. Just, you just want it to do that just to give it some texture. And then just add in some little antennas. And then just put in a little black so the eye. And you're all done and you can add any kind of anything extra that you want to it, but that's just your basic dragonfly. So there's the spider and there's the dragonfly. All right, and then for the last part of the video, I'm just going to show you how to do um, a quick little butterfly with some flowers and uh, uh, what's it called? caterpillar.